Holy Armadillo! Is this the first DC movie that hasn't been complete pants for utter ages? Yes, hey there film fans, today I am talking about the Lego Batman movie featuring Will Arnett. Michael Cera, Zach Galifianakis, that one, the one from The Hangover with the hair, he's also in it, and he's a pretty good Joker. I mean, probably better than Jared Leto, I would say. I was really excited for this. I saw the trailer; it was hilarious. I love the Lego Movie. On paper, it sounds a terrible idea. I've tried to make people watch it and said it's a lot better than you think it's going to be, and some people just can't seem to get over the idea. It's a movie about a very basic kid's toy, but everything really was awesome with the Lego movie. I've even got a playset somewhere of um, Princess Unicorn Kitty or whatever she's called. In the Lego movie, Batman was hilarious, and so it seems like a natural step to then give us some more of Batman. But it's always a bit of a hard push when you take a side character and give them their own movie. In this, they play on the fact that he's an arrogant loner, that he won't even admit to the Joker that he's his greatest enemy, and that's really funny. There's this weird romance going on where the Joker just wants Batman to tell him that he hates him. Um, the Joker is so cute. Like, I was going, oh, out loud, because he's, he's got these, like, pixels in his eyes that, like, ding, it's like, oh, it's so cute, I want to squeeze his little pointy mouth face, oh. It's quite good taking the piss out of the Batman property, um, the past incarnations, making some knowledgeable in-jokes. It's definitely a film you need to watch several times because there's so much crammed into it that... Um, if you don't watch really carefully, you're going to miss a lot of stuff. And I still think you'll get different layers each time. Um, I'm sure there's loads of stuff I miss that I really want to go and see again or buy on DVD or just download. There are gremlins in this. Although I myself am not a child, except in my head, I imagine this will work really well for kids too because there's enough silly stuff in there and bright colours and action that the kids the kids in my cinema were enjoying themselves a lot. Aside from laughing a lot, which I definitely did, there are some emotional moments, there's a nice message to it which continues from the everything is awesome if you work as a team message of the first film but this is more focusing on family. That said, and this might be down to their mental state as opposed to the movie itself, my friend that I went to see the film with fell asleep. Um, so obviously it wasn't working for them quite as well, although I think they were just shattered. But I mean, I'm just surprised anyone could sleep through it because it's so energetic and noisy and colourful and in your face. I was like, seriously, this is the one you're going to fall asleep in? I mean, I really enjoyed it. I want to see it again. But what did you guys think? Did you think it was as good as the Lego movie? I have to say, probably for me, not quite on that level, but very, very close. Um, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Everything's cool when you're part of the team. Everything